and boom, we are rolling. What's going on, guys? Welcome in. Take a seat and get comfortable. It's absolutely fantastic to see you all. Hope you are having a great day today, taking care of yourselves in this uh, crazy world that we uh, that we find ourselves in. So, on today's video, we're going to be checking out a track called Tellurian Fantasy by a band called Aphotic. So, Aphotic are a band that I'm very familiar with, not just in terms of their music, which I've listened to a shit ton, a shit ton of times. There's not much of it, but I've listened to it a good number of times. Um, but not only in that sense, but I'm actually friendly with all of the band as well. I recently saw them. Um, it was, um, it was, uh, I went to see uh, Volvodinia. Um, they were touring with Pint Glass. Fucking amazing show. Really, really good show. I, the first time I've been in a pit for a really, really long time. It was fucking great. I felt like I felt like a young I felt like a young twenty year old again. And then when I woke up uh, the next morning, I realized, holy fuck, I'm not twenty years old anymore. I feel like I've been beaten up underwater by football casuals. But anyway, really, really fucking good gig. Um, Pint Glass especially really surprised me. I didn't know how their kind of geezer core, geezer core was going to translate live, but they actually blew the roof off the place. The crowd was going completely nuts. It was fucking great. And a really, really nice bunch of guys as well. The, one of the guitarists from uh, Pint Glass gave me a little bit of his joint, and I'm pretty sure I'm still high now. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what kind of secret alien technology went into making that weed, but holy shit, I took a couple of tokes, and uh, yeah, I think, I'm, I think I'm still just recovering from it now. Um, but anyway, I digress. They were being supported by a band that I'm very close with um, called The Head of the Traitor. Uh, go ch if you don't know, now you know. Go check out Head of the Traitor. And they were also, and they were they were playing first, and then second up was a band called, would you believe it, Aphotic. So I was slightly familiar with Aphotic. I went to, it was they, uh, them and The Head of the Traitor were supporting another band. I think I've seen The Head of the Traitor three times now, possibly four doesn't matter. I can't even remember who, what, what band they were supporting, but basically I missed their set because I think it was, it was the first time I'd actually met the boys and Head of the Traitor, so I ended up speaking to all of them and had a couple of smokes with G, the, the, the drummer, and became friends with blah, 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 blah. So I actually was just, I was just one of those douchebags that goes to see one band and then just hangs out at the front just like chatting to people, like, man, so on and so forth. So I felt like a total dick, so then I did a little musical appreciation video for one of Aphotic's tracks just because I felt like such a douchebag. Started listening to them a little bit more, and I was like, wow, this is really, really fucking good. It's just really, really grimy, brutal death metal with a couple of, like, little, like, kind of landscape-y, like, little, like, atmospheric sections. But just everything about it is just nasty. Nasty and sweaty and filthy. There's not, nothing feels particularly well. Not well produced. Not overly produced is what I'm trying to say, I think. Just the, the vocals are grimy, the guitar, the bass, just everything's got a very, very... There's there's very little core and there's very little. When I say not polished, I don't mean messy. I just mean that everything's kind of got like a raw kind of like serrated edge to it. I, I don't know if I'm making any sense there, but I was like, yeah, it's just really really fucking good. And then, um, so the gig that I was talking about, the Volvodinia, go check out Volvodinia Pint Glass as well, actually, because it, it was a it was a really really fucking good. I actually got to hang out with uh, the guys in Volvodinia for a little bit. They answered a couple of my questions. Um, it was good. Really, really good hanging out with them. Super, super nice bunch of dudes. So anyway, so that so I saw Aphotic play. Um, ended up getting chat into the... I believe it was every member of the band, actually. Yeah, I spoke to... Yeah, I spoke to... Yeah, I spoke to every single one of them. I, I have a hard time remembering. I'm really bad with names. Really, really bad with names, really bad with faces, so I kind of have to like think sometimes, oh, did I meet all of them? But yeah, I met every single one of them. Super, super nice bunch of guys. Spoke to them before, was right at the front for their gig, spoke to them afterwards, been speaking to the bass player, whose name I've completely forgot, um, um, on Instagram. And um, yeah, so I saw, them, I saw them play, and they only played new things. They didn't play any songs from their, uh, they, they didn't play any of their older songs whatsoever. Um, I'm pretty sure they told me that before, and I was like, ooh, okay, well, this will be interesting, and I was fucking blown away. I was like, wow, I really, really like their older stuff, but no disrespect, their newer stuff just takes a big shit all over their older stuff, and that sounds disrespectful, but it's really not. It's just such a huge level up for these guys. Um, 
not only was it really, really great, but it was also unusual. And I can't say, and they're so technical. The 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 um it's like a six string bass. When when I saw that, when he showed me that, I was like, "Fuck! I've never seen one of them in the wild before." I'd only I'd only read about them in, in you know like in books, you know. Like I was like, "Fucking hell!" It was like a fucking bazooka. Um, and he really played all the strings as well. Like it wasn't just six string, but he just kind of does like a kind of emu, just like plays like you know zeros, ones, and twos type things. Very technical. The guitar so great, the drumming's great, and the front man. What an unusual dude. What a seriously, seriously unusual dude. I, was, I spoke to him for a long time beforehand, super chilled, all that type of shit. And then I think it was after the gig, he said to me um, a nice little bit of kind of philosophy where he was like, um, when it comes to what I do on stage, I stopped thinking about what I should do. And I just started being myself and just whatever happened, happened. And he's got very, very peculiar, very strange, strange uh, very captivating but the little banter that he does in between doesn't really doesn't really fit the scene. Like it's just it's just unusual. They're, they're, they're just they're just a standout band. But he really really like he does he does a lot. He's a great frontman, and he also does some very very strange stuff vocally as well. Like there's a there's a part where it almost sounds like he's singing, but he's singing in like a in kind of like a low guttural. Just it was technical. It was heavy. It was unpredictable. They absolutely smashed it live. They sounded fucking amazing. And I was like, yeah, just, yeah, this is really, really cool. I fucking love, I fucking love these dudes. This, this is awesome. I need to, I need to check out. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's, let's see what else is going on. So then, wait, hold on a second. I actually just want to see if I can, um, God, I just can't remember. I'm just going to have to call him the bass player that, from that band. That's so terrible. I mean, speaking of this guy, guys are like that when they can just like get to know someone but just have no idea about the fucking name. But, but anyway, the bass player, he said, um, we've got some stuff coming out. We're going to be releasing it here, blah, 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 blah. Do you want to film a reaction video? Do you want to film a reaction video for it? Blah, 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 blah. I'll send it to you early, blah, 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 blah. And here we are. So that brings us on to the present day. So I think that's enough preamble. Let's get the uh, let's let's get everything set up and let's crack on with this. Um, it's a seven minute song as well. I just noticed that. Holy shit! Stick wet. Right? Um, yeah. Um. It, so so unless this is a song that they've re- that unless this is something that they didn't play during that set, there's a good chance that I'm gonna recognize some parts of this. So I don't want it. So a, if I do recognize some parts, I'm just going to say, yeah, I recognize this. So it's kind of, it's it's a weird reaction video to do, to be, to be totally honest. I'll probably have heard this, but I won't have heard it recorded. But then I probably don't remember the entire set list anyway. So it'll be interesting. And I'll try and not let my personal biases get in the way as well. Because like I said, I'm very fond of all these guys, even though I can't remember any of their names. Uh, right. I think we're, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Okie dokie. Right, let's do this. A <laughs> What's the name of the song? Tellurian Vanity. Tellurian? Tellurian. God, this video is such a mess. Okay, let's go. Okay, Piano's very nice, I like that.
see what I mean? It's just so nasty. I remember this bit with the bass. So sick, dude. So sick. I love it.
We're just going to go back one second. Just give me, give me a minute. I love how Ga Liam, that's the name of the lead singer, Liam, he's... He's got a kind of gargling, kind of like drowning in custard style, like like sound to his vocals, which I absolutely fucking love. I'm just gonna see if I can find it. I love that. Love that. Love that. That's that's so so good. So so good. Okay. Aphotic. Tellurian Vanity. That was fucking sick. I love these guys. I really, really love these guys. Okay. So <clears throat> where do I start? When I saw that the song was seven minutes long, I was slightly worried, basically. Because I always worry that it's going to get, it, it, unless something actually says that it's like prog or experimental or technical or post blah, 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 whatever. I sometimes worry that it's going to maybe get a little bit repetitive. It's just going to be like, you know, some of the riffs are going to maybe go a little bit too long or blah, 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 so on and so forth. Not the case here. Super varied. Um, it never went core as well. Like the, 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 it, was, it, was, it was extreme. It was heavy. Um, it went, it, the, the heaviness of brutal death metal and especially these guys, it come, it doesn't come from breakdowns. It comes from what I call stompy sections. I can't get this camera. Out. Um, it comes from stompy sections, very riff heavy, um, which I actually, which I absolutely love. I don't mind me, uh, typical break, uh, break, um, death core breakdown. I don't have any problems with that, but it is nice to hear people doing heavy in a slightly more kind of like driven kind of mid-pace style way of doing it rather than just a do and then walk away you get a cup of coffee come back and then then go do something else and then you know like don't get me wrong i like a good i like a good breakdown but slowing things down just because you slow down a fast song doesn't necessarily mean as just turn into a kind of like lorna shore sense of the swamp worm shepherd type style breakdown love that um, loved that little, uh, loved the bit with the bass solo. Loved that. Thought it was really good. Quite weird as well. Like it, it, sometimes when you get bass solos or you get guitar solos, it kind of just sounds like they're really just, it's, it, some bands, I'm not going to name them, but some bands, it just, it doesn't, there's not much imagination put into the actual notes. It sounds like they're just kind of taking a scale and then maybe just changing it slightly and it gets a little bit boring and maybe they shift the position on the fretboard a little bit, but it's just kind of, it just sounds like an exercise. It sounds like they're just kind of getting warmed up. Not the deal here. Very interesting sound to it. Sat very well in the mix. Same with the guitar solo as well. Very techy, but very un but unusual sounding as well. It stood out. Um, I'm a big fan of Liam's vocals. Um, they've got, he's got a really, really nice pacing to them, but he never does any kind of like typical, like, you know, very goblin-y, very tunnel throaty, very kind of like, he's kind of, he's kind of, he's got his own thing going on. Um, I like the placement of the vocals as well. They were kind of like, they, they weren't just kind of here. They were kind of like over in this bit of the headphone, then here, and then they were kind of over here and they kind of just, they had, they had a, uh, just the, 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 the way it was mixed and, and, and that way was very, very cool. There was a lot going on in all different parts. You could hear it kind of like, you know, everywhere in the in the headphones, which I really, really liked as well. Um, it's difficult to do a seven-minute song with, with with kind of like, I, I don't want to say just brutal death metal because there was more going on there, but mainly it was brutal death metal. It's difficult to pull off a seven-minute song, especially for a band that's like really, really just starting out. I mean, I think, I, I don't know when the... the, the they first started making music, but I think it was about like 2018, 2019, something like that. So they've, they've been a bit earlier than that, but they haven't got like, you know, five, you know, five albums and all that type of shit. You know what I mean? There's a very much just starting out. So a seven minute song, um, without throwing in like, you know, 50 other styles is very, very cool. Um, love the piano. Um, especially how loud the piano was as well. That's a that, that's an issue that I have with this type of music, where someone adds a symphonic element, element, but you can't fucking hear it because it's just too far back 
and it's just drowned out by everything else. You just you just can't hear anything, and you can only hear it when it's just the keys being played. Then everything else comes in, and you're like you're straining your ears, and you're like, I oh, did, I can't fucking hear anything, you know. Um, that was really really good. Like the little landscapey section as well, kind of like the, the the they allowed the song to breathe. Um, loved it, loved it, loved it from the start all the way through to the end. Um, I think I might sound. This might make me sound very, very silly, but I'm pretty sure they played that one live because I really have a very strong memory of that bass solo and the guitar solo. Um, but maybe I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I've heard that track before. I didn't remember I, I didn't remember a lot of it, which was cool because then I got to kind of do the you know a kind of fresh reaction video for it. But I, I do I do remember hearing that live. Um, one criticism that I did have was some elements of how it was mixed. Or produced, or how loud it was, or how far back, or how well. I, I, I'm gonna have to actually go and maybe, you know, learn what all these words mean. Um, but in some sections, I felt that the vocals and the drums were just a little bit too loud. Not not for the whole song, but in some sections, um, I just couldn't really hear the bass. Not very well, anyway. I could I could hear it slightly, but it wasn't it wasn't high enough in the mix for me. Same with the guitars, they kind of got drowned out a little bit by the drumming and the vocals. Only slightly. It wasn't like enough to like kind of put me off the song, but there was but there was some bits, especially during I, I would say probably the first three, four minutes of the song, where I was kind of thinking that I would like to hear a little bit more bass and maybe just a little bit less drums, possibly. Maybe the, the drums were tuned up a little bit too high. Which again wasn't a problem because the drumming was really, really good. I liked how everything sounded. I just wasn't a fan of some sections of the on the on the mix, you know. But then I take you back to my previous comment about like you know really liking the landscapey sections and really liking the guitar solo and the bass solo. But even with the bass solo, I actually thought that, that could have been a bit louder. To be perfectly honest, that would have been nicer for that to be a little bit more present in the present in the mix. Um, but overall, uh, fucking fantastic! Really, really good shit. Yeah, um, I, I, I knew I was gonna like it. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it that much. Um, I absolutely cannot wait to hear the rest of the album um, or EP album, whatever it is that they've got, whatever it is that they've got in store, whenever the hell that's going to drop. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of these guys. Big, big fan. That was an absolute, uh, an absolute slapper. And um, yeah, other than those tiny, tiny little nitpicky things that I just did there because I'm a bit of an asshole, um, that was great. Really, really fucking impressive. Yeah, maybe just a little bit less drums, a little bit less vocals, a little bit more bass. Maybe. But just my opinion. What the fuck do I know? So, once the video's finished, if you scroll down, you will see links to that song. That, yep. Um, to the Spotify, Apple Music, to their merch store, to their Instagram, to their Facebook, to their Twitter, to their blah, 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 whatever the fuck. Um, every single thing that they've got online, I'm going to find put a link down there. Please, 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 with giant fucking cherries on top, click on every single one of those links, follow them on Facebook, follow them on Instagram, consider buying some merch. There's, uh, they're also sending me a t-shirt as well to say thanks for all this, which thank you so much, guys. It's a sick looking t-shirt as well. When I get it, I'll post it on my Instagram. Don't worry, I'm going to be I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be doing my thing on the catwalk when that arrives. Um, stream their music, buy some physical copies, Leave them a comment, let them know how much of a good job they're doing, share it to your, your wife, your friends, your enemies, your dog, your cat, strangers in the street, whoever. Just do whatever you can to support these guys because not only are they really good, but I actually truly, truly, I, 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 I will actually say that I think these guys are actually quite unique. Um, um, just, in just, it, just in terms of, just everything about them is just a little bit special, basically. Does it, does it, does it, the vocals are just slightly different, the guitar playing is just slightly different. The song structures are slightly different. It's the productions just a little bit. There's just there's something very very unique about these guys, and that's really important if you want to stand out because there is a lot, a lot of br other brutal death metal slash deathcore slash extreme metal bands out there. So you do really need to you know. There's a dog howling outside. I'm glad I'm indoors. Um, yeah, I'm just talking shit right now. Loved it. Love the guys. Go support them. Thank you very much for joining me one more time. Tellurian Vanity by Aphotic.
Go show the boys some love. Thank you very much for joining me. Really appreciate it, guys. Love you all very much. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.